Hi guys, my name is Andre AK Mark Renton and today is going to be a little bit uh, untypical video for my channel because I would like to reach out for some help. Um, initially, I plan to do a video on how I upgraded my S2800 Akai sampler, but there I have some problems. I would like to reach out to some folks out there who've got some better experience than I have and maybe I'm too stupid for this kind of thing, but I just have some problems with this floppy emulator. So check this out. Initially, I thought I'm going to upgrade everything in one evening, opening my S1200, um, upgrading the operating system and using this opportunity also to replace the floppy drive with such a famous uh, floppy disk emulation, which works um, via USB stick or flash drive, however you want to call that. I have to say the first part worked out pretty well, like I could upgrade operating system 1.5 to 2.0 by replacing the firmware, the, the, the chips actually. And I ordered them on eBay from an Italian vendor. They arrived in time and I just replaced it, switched on the device and worked like a charm. Why was I doing so? Uh, I read that the new operating system has some improvements in the SCSI implementation. Honestly, I don't care so much about the SCSI, but uh, I realized that my machine at least uh, freezes here and there sometimes and it feels like that just the display is freezing. Like the whole sampling engine then just runs uh, but nothing else is working there so therefore you can't really like do anything and it's really a mess if you're like chopping your brakes and then um, want to save or did not save it and then uh, unfortunately you run into this trouble and yeah like all this work is gone. So therefore I wanted to upgrade it and I uh, wanted to give it a chance but to be honest I didn't test it really properly until now if this problem uh, does not occur anymore. The second thing which is I think more interesting to most people is replacing the floppy drive with this Gotik uh, floppy drive emulator and what I did there is I just replaced it, disassembled it on my own and what's interesting is uh, there are some jumper settings um, that are not that complicated but I can't really find any working settings that works for me. Like I did this kind of sheet already uh, where I really analyzed how the machine behaves. Like sometimes it's even not booting up or at least it is freezing. Sometimes the LED indicator or the LED light flashes up, sometimes not. But all the time in best case it's saying no disk detected, which obviously I would like to do. And what I did not do is I did not put some pre-configured image drives onto this flash drive. I formatted it via this uh, button combination when it boots up and if you when you press these two buttons then it's um, formatting the flash drive and is creating those partitions uh, like I think 900 or 1000 partitions basically that okay and then I would expect that then I can use such partition and format it with the uh, sampler right but it's just not detecting any disk and I am not interested in putting there some Akai images or Akai libraries on there to read it because I'm just interested in sampling my own things and then just play it through the sampler. So if you have any idea what I'm doing wrong, please reach out to me. Uh, one or two more remarks. I know there's this HX something uh, firmware out there for 10 bucks. I would give it a try if I knew that this is solving my problems, but to be honest, I don't know. And the second thing, there's this, I think, floppy something called uh, open source firmware, but they're also like, so if you have any idea what I should do, please reach out to me. I would love to get there some ideas. Thank you guys. Ciao.